so uh, this is our uh, front view and here we can able to see this particular uh, box and this one we can able to see and this one we can able to see very clearly so before going with them the first thing which we have to draw is uh, this total 75 mm length which we can see from the front view so first i am going to draw this uh, 75 mm length and again this 45 mm also we can able to see it very clearly so i am going to draw this 45 mm here very clearly and next uh, uh, next in the case uh, we can draw this uh, 10 mm whatever this 10 mm is visible here this 10 mm also i can able to see it clearly okay and now uh, since it's a groove here so if you see from this particular view to this particular corner you can able to see a straight line so i will join these two line these two points at this top this end as well as this end with the help of a line okay so this this uh, gives me somewhat the view which i am seeing from the front view up so part is 24 mm this this line this line that line i am going to draw here 24 mm and this will be 24 at a distance of 24 i am going to draw a straight line and again from here i will leave a space of 27 and again i will draw one more uh, line that will becomes my 27 and the remaining will be total of this particular dimension so next thing is i can able to see a triangle so here i am trying to make the distance of this particular height is as 15 and then from here i will draw a straight line which will be projected to this particular slant so that i can get i can able to see a triangle which i have mentioned it here and the next one is here uh, there is a groove but this groove is not visible to me from the front view so for this one i am just uh, highlighting the dotted line here a dotted a two dotted lines i am going to be create in the form of part like this and the next one is i am going to draw the top view see before going to draw the top view i need to draw the projections so i am going to draw projections uh, from all the points uh, from the front view then i can able to see this entire surface means i can able to see from the top view some a tentative view i am going to draw here some notch will be there and here again some notch will be there like this uh, top view i can able to see from the top surface so first thing is i am going to draw this one so i will try to mark a line which will be having a distance of uh, 75 next uh, down line and this line will be at a dimension of uh, 60 and then the bottom line this bottom line will be of a distance of 24 now i will go to the inner this inner should be 8 mm okay this one this 8 mm is the inner this, this part is 8 mm next again this line this line will be around 27 27 and again down side it will be again 8 and then i will join to the corner of this particular length so it will be again a 24 next one more uh, joint line i have to draw so this one up to which length up to 24 length this length will be this length this length will be this one 24 next again i have to come it down so at what distance i have to come it down since it is a of 8 mm uh, uh, depth uh, the main reason is i need to know at what large this particular surface is going to be located in the figure this length dimension is missing so for that sake i am going to take a construction line then i am joining a straight line which uh, touches this particular point and now again that particular height is very common since it is totally is 60 60 minus 48 i will get this particular length so i will draw that that length and then again i will touch the line in this side and again i will try to make a connection and this will be again 24 so this this will give 24 plus 24 minus 60 will give this particular length clearly to me next the thing is i have to draw this particular square so this uh, square or rectangle whatever the dimension it is 24 by and i didn't i i don't know this uh, length also so for this one again here i know only width but what about this length so for that one we have taken the projection here okay so what i will do is from this particular surface this particular surface it is located at a distance of 13 mm okay so here they have given it very clearly so with that particular reference okay i am going to take that length as 13 and then i am going to draw a line which is going to connect this construction line since this dimension is unknown for me this dimension is missing what i am going to do is i am taking this particular point and from here i am coming down to 13 mm from here i am going to draw a straight line which will touches the construction line then i am coming down this length is known to me this length is 
this length is again known to me and this length will complete this particular square this completes my top view next i will go to the left hand side view so left hand side view means i am drawing the view i am seeing the part from the left hand side so this is my left hand side lhsv okay where i have to draw i have to draw it on the right side okay so i am taking the construction lines as usual procedure after taking the construction lines first thing is which is very clear to visible is this particular rectangle so first of all i will go for that drawing the rectangle as a 60 dimension and the height will be around 10 and again 60 dimension in the horizontal and again 10 in the vertical this is the first part which i can able to see and the second part is i can able to see this entire surface but here i have to mention it as a notch here i have to mention it as a notch but before going to this one i can able to see this rectangle also very clearly okay so i will know the height i know the height as 45 and 45 minus 10 this will give my 35 and i will draw one more line here this line will be 24 this particular line and the notch is going to be appear here this notch how i can how i am going to uh, identify it See, because notch height they have given it as 8 mm so i will come down 8 mm okay and then length so length of the notch is not known to us so for that one we can take the reference like we can draw a 45 degrees line and we can take this reference like this we can able to draw but that is not not uh, essential for now because uh, uh, once we are going to draw it on the drawing sheet we can able to convenient with the diagrams so this notch and then again up 8 mm and again up, up 24 mm and again i am touching this particular line at the downside this notch is there no this notch here whatever the notch we are seeing if you see from the front view we can able to see this notch only but this is going to make a closure we can see this notch also very clearly like in the form of a rectangle we can able to see it so this length is 8 mm first we will draw that 8 mm length here next we will come down and then we will draw one more 8 mm length okay this completes my figure and and next one is here we have to draw the rectangle so for drawing the rectangle i have to first trace the line so my for tracing the line this is my starting reference line from here it should be at a distance of 13 okay i am going to draw a line which will be having a height of which will be having a height of 24 and a vertical line okay this vertical line is not known to me so that's why i am trying to make a touch with respect to this particular line next one more line next one more line so this completes my left hand side view okay so why this dotted line is going to represent here is because there is some kind of a grew here so for that representation i am going to draw it as a dotted line so this completes my left hand side view